Welcome back everyone, this is Eurus McSparks with you again, and today we're going to continue our le lesson series on building Roblox Racing. Now last week, we learned how to build a really cool car, but we don't really have anything to drive it on. Right now I've just been driving around the base plate, it's not that much fun. So today, we're going to get started on building a racetrack. There's a couple ways you could build your track, but the way I like to do it is by building it with tiles. Basically, pieces of the track that I can snap together in different and interesting configurations. In the long run, I find it saves you a lot of work. So I'm starting off by just making a base tile that all of my other parts are going to fit on top of. All the pieces of my track have to fit inside this, so that they can all fit together nicely. I'm making mine 64 by 64, as you can see here. And I just use the size of the properties tab to change it. You can use the scale tool if you prefer. I just find that to be a little bit quicker. Now that I have the base, I'm going to just copy and paste it. And now I'll actually start building my road. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually make it a little bit thinner using the form factor of custom. So that it's a nice thin road. And I'm making sure it's back on one stud. But I find this size works for me. You may want to make your road a different size, either wider or thinner. Now keep in mind that a thinner road will be a little bit harder to drive on. There won't be as much room for more, as many cars, corners will be tougher. So if you make your roads too thin, it'll be a harder game, which may be what you're going for. And of course the opposite is true. If you make your road thicker, it'll be a little bit easier to drive. So just go with whatever you find works for you. You may have to do some testing to see what, see what works out. But for now, I'm just adding some embellishments to the side of my road, just adding some little stripe at the edge here. I'm gonna add a few racing stripes too. I think we'll make it just visual, visually a little bit more interesting than just a black road on the ground. In traditional racetracks, you have the alternating white and red. I'm going to go for that effect here. Again, just using concrete as my material. I think it looks a little bit better than plastic in this case. And making use of the colors, again, as we learned in our last lesson. And to save myself time, just using shift-click, select multiple parts, copying and pasting them. And very quickly, you can see we're already getting quite a ways through with this track. I'm just going to put a strip of grass here at the edge of our track, give it a little bit more color variety. And again, I'm just using the wide selection of materials and colors available to us. And lastly, I'm just going to copy and paste all these, use for the other side. Anytime you can reuse pieces that you've already made, I say go for it. it saves you a lot of work in the long run. If you've already made it once, no need to make it again. We're almost done here. Again, remember, shift-click is definitely your friend. You're dealing with lots of parts. And I'm just going to delete the tile that it all built on. And there we go. Really quickly, we have a straight road tile. I'm going to move my car a little bit more out of the way. Now we can drag it around and we copy and paste it. First thing I am going to want to do is, though, I'm going to group this part with all the parts selected, so that it all moves as one unit. And when I copy and paste it, it makes a copy, exact duplicate of all the parts in it. So when you have a bunch of parts that you have together, you like the configuration, hit the group key and it'll put them all together. If for some reason you need to change it, you can always click the ungroup button and it'll split it up again. And there you go. As you can see, as I was talking about tiling, these two pieces line up perfectly, and we can make a nice long stretch of road. So I think our racetrack is starting to look really nice. There is one last piece, though, I would like to add to this part before I say I'm done with it. I would like to add a fence so that the cars can't drive off of the side of the road. Now, I could make a fence on um, parts and such, but I'm getting a little tired, so I just want to see if there's one already made in the toolbox. I'm going to search for Roblox. Racing fence. And here we go. 
This is a part that I made earlier. You're more than welcome to use in your game. Just search for Roblox Racing Fence as I did in the toolbox. And you can copy and paste it into your world. The toolbox is a really nice resource, especially as you get when you're getting started with, uh, with Roblox Studio. There's just a lot of models out there that people have already made. People are really talented who, and have made some really amazing things that are free to use in your game. A lot of times, you know, why reinvent the wheel if someone's made something really nice? You can include it in yours. You may want to be a little bit careful. Sometimes the practice of using too many of the models from the toolbox, some people frown on that, so you may want to put on your own individual flair to some models that you insert. And I'm just going to rotate these around. And there we go. And I'm just going to group this whole road together just so it's a nice unit. So let's keep making our track. In the spirit of using items from the toolbox, I'm actually going to pull up a, a set of pieces that I've already made earlier. I'm going to search for Roblox Racing Track instead this time. I'm going to pull it in just by clicking on it. And you see I've made a lot of pieces already that we can use for our track. Now again, you're welcome to use these pieces if you like. You can make your own track pieces though, it's pretty much no different than the skills that we've been practicing earlier with just moving parts around. The trick I find is always just to make sure that they all fit in the same tile so they snap together nicely. Because, as you'll see, you can just drag one part right next to another. And you can make really interesting shapes. And when you have a nice set of part pieces like this, you can make pretty much an infinite variety of shapes and pieces, and you can make a unique racetrack all of your own. And keep in mind, when you download a model from the toolbox, you're not restricted to how the model looks. You're free to edit this as you see fit. So for instance, let's say I didn't like my racetrack in a green field. Let's say I wanted it to take place in, like, say, a desert. I'm going to ungroup this model that we downloaded. And instead of grass on the side, well, can just change it to sand. Change the color to more of like a tan or yellow. Do the same to the other side. And then just select it all. You select all of it this time. Group it together. And I have a brand new piece that's that's more original and you know will fit into the theme of my game better. And you're welcome to do this with all these parts or any part that you find from the toolbox. I find that with just a little bit of editing, you can create a great many things with parts that already exist. And by making clever use of materials, colors, moving different parts around, you can really change the look and dynamic feel of your game. You can have your game take place in a whole variety of settings and set pieces. Well, that's all for now. Stick around, because in the next lesson, we're going to talk about how to use these pieces to the best effect in your game. For now, I'm Eurus McSparks. Remember, you make the game.